Parents in Cobb County, you might be rejoicing tonight over the district's decision to phase in face-to-face -face learning. Next week, parents can choose if they want their kids in the classroom or to stay digital. Natisha Lance talked to some of those parents tonight in Cobb County, joining us live with their reaction, Natisha. Well, Aisha, those parents I spoke with breathing a sigh of relief after that announcement, all for different reasons, but the common ground between them, parents think in-person learning is not only the best way for their kids to get their education, but it's also best for their mental health. It's Today, the announcement many Cobb parents have been waiting parameters. for. I think this is good. A return to the classroom for students, but in phases. I am really, really hoping that this stays and that we do get to send her back in early October. Molly Garreau is cautiously optimistic. The district changed its decision to allow parents to choose between remote or in-person learning before this school year began, then made everything remote. Some parents protested the decision. Garreau says her eight-year-old daughter, Megan, who requires one on one learning for special needs struggled virtually. He was very frustrated, a lot of tears, not understanding why she couldn't do the things that she normally did. Gro says she endured financial stress, having to hire someone to give her daughter the hands on learning she needed. Now parents will get to choose between remote and face to face learning. Phase one of face to face will begin October 5th for kindergarten through fifth grade and special needs students through 12th grade. Phase two will start October 19th for sixth through eighth graders. And phase three for high schoolers will begin November 5th. Rebecca Medeag created an in-home learning center for her two high schoolers and middle school student. She's just as ready as they are to get back in the classroom. She says it's hard to see their social anxiety from missing their friends while virtual learning. It's sad. It's sad for them because they miss each other. And parents will have to make that choice between September 7th and September 20th. And the district says they are going to be taking some precautions. They're going to be keeping social distancing where it is possible. And also staff and students will be required to wear masks on buses as well as in bu buildings on uh, different school campuses. Aisha. All right, Natisha, thank you. Everyone just doing what's best for their individual families. It's always a mixed bag with these stories.